Oh my god, we're back again! For anyone who gets that reference, I do apologize. I don't know what it is about a Monday morning. But, it has me hyped as we crawl ever so much closer to three things that I can't wait for. Number one, the start of the NBA season. Number two, the start of the NFL season. And number three, the end of the baseball season. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm coming, I'm warming up to baseball. I know a lot of it's just me and bad luck and variance. I gotta just put that behind me. And I've been on a decent little stretch here that I think I'm gonna make continue. I'm dedicated to running this out till the end of the season. And I'm pretty excited that uh, we have all these sports. Love the NHL, NBA, NFL, all of them right around the corner. Uh, it, it's, it is very hard to believe. But nonetheless, let's talk a little baseball tonight. Let's get some guys that will help us win um, our tournaments tonight. I want to start off with Matt Joyce, 7,800 fan, fantasy draft, 3,200 FanDuel, 4K on DraftKings. And there's no question about it. First of all, that 4K price tag on DraftKings is a little bit ridiculous, and it's there because of the opposing pitcher. Ubaldo Jimenez, 401 Woba, 37.8% fly ball rate, 27.4% home run to fly ball ratio, 33.3% hard contact to lefties. Do not let the numbers suck you in that much. Ubaldo Jimenez is a good enough pitcher to royally screw you over. Mark my words, more times then we want to admit we end up with a full-on Ubaldo stack that ends up costing us basically everything we played that night. That is the nature of baseball. He had three really good outings in a row, absolutely caved last time. This is not the worst matchup against the A's, to be honest with you. He's someone that I'm still floating in my head as someone I might want to throw in there. But nonetheless, I'm still going to want to have some exposure to the athletics I like Matt Joyce tonight. Very low probability of a huge score, but if that huge score happens, you'll also probably get him at low ownership. That's why we like him in tournaments. Moving on from there, let's go with another guy with an invisible floor and a really high ceiling, and that's Matt Nap Mike Napoli, 7,600 fantasy draft, 3,700 FanDuel, 3,800 on DraftKings. Not many situations where I'm going to be looking to Napoli, but I like it tonight. Saves a little bit of money so I could go and spend up on other bats because it's not going to be with pitching. Going up against Tyler Skaggs, 341 Woba, 37.5% fly ball rate, 14% home run fly ball ratio, 33% hard contact. Yes, this game is in Anaheim. I don't care. I want some Mike Napoli tonight. I think he's going to make one leave the yard. My favorite play, and possibly the most expensive on the slate, I can't recall, Manny Machado. That's correct. After five years of him being in Major League Baseball, I think I've finally grasped how to pronounce the young man's last name. 10-8 on Fantasy Draft, 4,100 Fandle, 5,600 on DraftKings. Manny Machado, who was something like my eighth pick in the draft this year, was, I mean, it was devastating to watch him play the first half of the season. But like some other players, he's really turned things on down the stretch. Gets a good matchup against the youngster and Chris Smith. 364 Woba, 39.7% fly ball rate, 27.6% home run to fly ball ratio, 37.8% hard contact. I know it's only seven games on Chris Smith, but the fact of the matter is he should be outclassed here. I like the stadium choice in Baltimore tonight. Everything should be turning up. Machado this evening. Once again, three of our favorite tournament options, Matt Joyce, Mike Napoli, Manny Machado. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Check us out at researchfantasy.com. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter at Research and Win and join us again tomorrow.